Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be an Aquarius reading, December 18th to the 20th. There's a bunch of Aquariuses out there, so this is not going to be every single Aquarius' story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher or someone that you're dealing with, okay? So, Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. One more shuffle, Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. Okay, balanced friendships. So right now you could be, you know, working on um, cutting out whatever is not balanced because, you know, relationships are better uh, when there's an equal, uh, equal giving and equal receiving. Uh, with the purification, you know, you could be detoxing anything that's negative. Um, that way you could be more at peace. And with peer pressure, you know, other people could be trying to coerce you into some sort of decision, trying to force you to make a decision. And, um... You know in your heart what the right choice is, okay? With the time to decide, you know, you might have to make a decision so you can move forward either from someone or something. Let's take a look. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. One more shuffle, Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. So with that Nine of Pentacles there, you could be working a lot on your independence, on your stability, like on your um, job, on your career, Working on your finances, uh, yeah, I feel like things are going to get a lot better for you, especially in the love aspect. Let's take a look with that King of Cups, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, very focused on your money, on your stability. Um, you probably, let's see, are regaining your confidence um, and, you know, wanting to reach out to someone but you could be wanting to reach out to someone but you're not going to um with that eight of pentacles you know you could be choosing to distract yourself uh with your job you know with that seven of wands you could be choosing you know your job uh your finances as a way to um make yourself forget about this person uh let's see and with that seven of swords you know maybe this person was very confident and that could have been why um they were very sneaky but with that Five of Wands and the Justice card, I feel like your person wants to make things right. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Virgo, a Scorpio, any sign for that matter. Uh, with the Hermit card and the Hanged Man, you know, your person has probably been doing a lot of thinking and changing their mind because they've been alone. You know, they probably have just been doing like a lot of Netflix and chilling, you know. Um, but getting off of social media, you know, staying by themselves and that has caused them to change their mind a lot. And with that death card three of swords, you know, you could have broke up with this person or you might be deciding to, you know, um, what you have to offer me is not that much, you know, now that you've been thinking about it. So you might not even want this person anymore. So with the three of swords and the death card, you know, some of you guys could be choosing to end this relationship. You know, others of you guys, I feel like this person is taking the relationship and um, using it to their advantage to change the way that they work with people or work in partnerships um you know you could be very stable very independent and you just kind of don't need anyone or anything uh let's take a look what is that three of swords in the death card for aquarius december 18th to the 20th three of swords in the death card king of swords well uh with that king of swords there you know three of swords in the death card you know, you could have made your person change a lot. Um, yeah, when it comes to uh, the Six of Pentacles, you know, now they only want relationships that are equal. So it could be them here that is um, choosing to be patient, uh, cut out any relationships that aren't balanced. And here with this uh, Five of Pentacles, you know, they're not liking the distance between you guys, especially with that King of Swords. I feel like they want to speak some sort of truth. Uh, you could also be dealing with an earth sign with all those pentacles, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you might have blocked them. But with that Ace of Swords, you see, that's someone clearing up their mind. You know, now they cleared up any confusion that they had. Um, now they can see things clearly. So with that Six of Pentacles, uh, Five of Pentacles, you know, I feel like the fact that you're very independent and by yourself. Um, yeah, Five of Swords. Uh, you could be kind of coming across as, you know, someone who doesn't need anyone. Uh, but... You know, they have this sort of where they don't feel good enough, um, some sort of lack mentality. And so now it's like this wanting to be patient because, let's see, Aquarius, 
Yeah, because they, they still love you with that Knight of Cups, but they want to take their time with this um, rather than jumping into it. Yeah, King of Cups. Again, they, they still care a lot about you, okay? Especially with that Ace of Cups there, Queen of Cups, you know. So they kind of want to jump into some sort of relationship with you. But um, with that Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Aquarius, yeah. So they want to fix their finances first, um, and then they feel like things can move forward with you. Let's just see what that Five of Wands is. So you guys might have spoke um, this weekend or might be speaking this weekend and there's going to be some sort of argument um, that it's going to be kind of like a lesson learned uh, with that Hierophant. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, let's take a look with that Four of Swords. Aquarius, thank you. Queen of Pentacles, five, Seven of Cups. So you probably are doing just a lot of... Um, you know, focusing on yourself uh, with that Queen of Pentacles, focusing on your stability. And that could be causing confusion where now it's making you want things. You know, you could be wanting, you know, shoes, a place, a car, more money, jewelry. You know, take that how it resonates. But um, there's probably a need for structure here. Um, you know, they, these could all be fears holding you back. Let's take a look with that Seven of Cups there. Yeah, see with this Four of Wands. Or let's shuffle it instead. Seven of Cups for Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th, the Empress. Yeah, so you might be feeling like you have to work on yourself or that you need more, like you need more clothes, more shoes, more, you know, whatever it is. And with that Empress card, it's letting you know that you're perfect just the way you are. Your person does like you the way you are. You can be dealing with the Libra also. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. You speak to me through music. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. We need to let each other go. Yeah, your person wants to work on themselves. So, therefore, they need to let you go. Um, and I don't react when people mention you. We will be together again. You, We both know I'm not the one for you. With that Page of Pentacles, yeah, they feel like... You see, I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. They feel like, you know, you're you're kind of above them. Especially with that Five of Pentacles. Um, but I just feel like they have to do... You know, they have to work on their mindset a little more. Um, and be more patient. Because with that Death card, either way, there is a transformation that this person is going through. And you probably taught them that. Um, but they still want you, okay? So, Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. And again, you might be feeling like you need to do this, that, and the third. And you're perfect the way you are, Okay. Uh, your person still, you know, still wants something with you. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. Yeah, date. So, on your side here, we have clarity and the clock. Uh, with the sword and the rose and the clock, it's letting you know, you know, you probably started to see the truth about things. You're getting more clarity um, and with the clock, you know, this needs time, uh, with that seven of wands here, you probably, you know, have your guard up because you guys have been going in cycles, uh, with this date card, you know, it's letting you know to put yourself back out there. You guys can be separated right now. So your person is unsure of the future. Um, but with this snake card here, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, there could be, you know, you might still be dealing with someone or vice versa. I'll double check right now. With the coffin, it's saying, you know, this is just the ending to one chapter. You guys can move forward. You know, I like you. So, you guys still have feelings for each other. Heart with the key. You know, you guys just need to be open to giving, to open to receiving and giving love. Okay, with this wedding rings upside down, I feel like you guys are preparing for union. Uh, with the talking, you know, you guys just need to converse more. Um, it also means that there is a t text message. Or a, a message in general dealing with social media coming through, okay? So what is that, um, the snake? So what is that, the snake? The snake for Aquarius, December 18th to the 20th. So, yeah. So I feel like the snake is letting you know that there is a new opportunity. You know what they say with that snake? You know, if it was a snake, it would have bit you if you, you know, if you don't see something. Um, so I feel like in, that's the case here. Letting you know, you know, there is a new opportunity coming around. 
Uh, you just have to regain your confidence with that six of wands. Recognize your worth. Recognize that there is a tension on you right now. Uh, you could be in the public eye, have some sort of business where you get a lot of attention on social media. You could just be getting a lot of attention. And it's saying here, you know, with that Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, uh, and that Snake card here, you know, I feel like there is a new beginning here with that Seven of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? It's just you reap what you sow. So I feel like that person is going through karma, okay? But there is a new beginning here. Uh, maybe at some point you were worried that this person had someone else. And so with the full card, you know, as much as they want to jump into it, they know they have to wait. Okay. Um, there's some sort of uh, karma that needs to play out or some sort of um, energy here that this person has to transform a little bit more before they can have you. Okay. Um, but, and it even says here, we will be together again, but they're feeling like they're not the one for you. And so there's still some changing here that they need to do. And that's also in the mindset. Okay. You don't want to be dealing with someone that is um afraid or has a lot of insecurities because then they're going to be projecting their issues onto you uh, right now they're doing a lot of emotional balance and a lot of hard lessons learned all right all right guys i'm going to go ahead and close it out here if this resonated with you guys um you know some of you guys might choose like i said to not take this person back with that death card and that three of swords but okay guys if this resonated with you guys you guys are more than welcome to like share leave a comment and subscribe much love Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later, okay? Thank you. Bye.